All right, we're almost done, but there is one little thing that uh, I still you know, need to talk about. We talked about recoil, but this is supposed to be a recoil Jotai comparison. So how does Jotai compare? I mean, are we really going to go through and do this all one more time? That seems a bit excessive. No, we're not going to go through and just do this all again. We're actually just going to change a couple things and just get this to work. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the app because we need to change that recoil route. We're not going to use that anymore. We're going to first of all change recoil to Jotai and we're going to change this to provider and recoil route. Get rid of that. We just need a provider. Uh, that should break for us. I hope. Yep, it did. And we should be good there. Let's go back to our element state and all that we really need to change here. Um, let's delete all of this and import some stuff from Jotai and this should help us a bit. Oops, from. So what, what can we get? We can get an atom, that's nice. Um, and we can get use atom. That's basically how we're gonna actually pull the atom. So where we had use recoil state, we can change that with use atom. And here we can change this with use atom. Uh, we just need to get this second value. Then we're gonna pull out from Jotai utils. There are some utils and I haven't looked at all these. First one is atom family. And let's see what else they have. Um, if they have any, oh, use update atom. Okay, that's perfect. That's actually, I think, exactly what I wanted here when I did what I did there. So, yep, let's just take that back and let that work as magic. And we could honestly, we just return that. Oop, zoomed in again. That looks a little bit simpler. Nice little one liner. Um, so, we got our atom family. That's actually exactly what we wanted. Now, the big, big difference, nothing is working. Selector is not defined. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, the big, big difference with Jotai and Recoil um, is in Jotai, you don't actually need to declare your keys, which personally, I find delightful. I don't really have a reason to declare keys. I don't really know why I would want to do that necessarily. I don't, I don't see a benefit. I could totally be missing something, but to me, it just seems so much, so much easier to not declare a bunch of keys. So I'm not going to. Thank you, Jotai. You just saved me five lines of code and some curly braces. I got those back too, which is nice. All right, selector does not work, so let's fix this. Um, we're actually just going to use an atom. I think I alluded to this earlier, but selectors are just atoms under the hood. They're just kind of um, special in some special way. So we don't need a key, I said. Uh, so let's get rid of this and this before I do anything else because I'm going to forget otherwise. And I can actually get rid of all of this and say null. This is the value of this atom. I don't actually care what it is because I'm just using the selector part of it. And then the second side of what you get, I'm going to get rid of all this. Um, you you get that that get in that set that I had actually. You can get those again. They're just positional items. You can see them here. Get set, um, and then we can again have our action in here. Another big difference with Jotai I should point out is it is written in TypeScript, it's TypeScript first. Um, so if TypeScript is a big motivator for you, Jotai I think makes a lot of sense to use. I'm still pretty new with TypeScript and getting used to it and I didn't really wanna do this whole video in TypeScript um, just because it can be hard for people to follow along if they're not as familiar with TypeScript. Um, but anyway, as you can see, there's no errors over here. So let's just hope this works. I'm gonna double click. Ooh, it did not. So initialize read is not a function. Um, so the mistake here, um, this is pretty, simple little mistake. It's probably just because I'm using a bad initializer. Basically, it being undefined, I think Jotai under the hood said, was very confused by that. That didn't seem like a real value. So I need to actually pass in an initializer function, which will you call that function to initialize it with a value of undefined. And if I double click, now it works. And that's great. I can drag this around, change that height, change that width, um, you know, change these guys on their own, adjust the color and delete things. And the final, final test, of course, is creating a bunch of these, opening this bad boy up, opening up that profiler, shrinking this down, clicking profile, change something, stop. And only three commits that were above one millisecond, but each of those commits looks like it only had one thing change. So switching from recoil, or sorry, react to recoil, you know, a little bit more complicated, but switching from recoil to Jotai, incredibly, incredibly easy. Um, and going the reverse would also be pretty easy. The most annoying thing that you're gonna have to deal with is you're gonna have to add all those keys in, um, which could be a bit tedious. Uh, I find deleting keys a lot easier than adding them. But other than that, you know, they're very similar. 
this really wasn't a recoil versus Joe type, but really just trying to compare what's different about each of them. I would definitely recommend, you know, now that you've maybe seen them a little bit, go through the docs, um, see what, what each has to offer. Joe Tai's docs are basically one page. Um, they do have, you know, some other little, you know, docs that you can go to to see more things. Specifically, maybe take a look at the utils doc and see what they have in there because um, they have a couple of other tricks up their sleeve. Both of these libraries are dispense ready, you know, concurrent mode ready. They're all ready for the, the future of React. So they're good on that end. Recoil, maybe, you know, being a Facebook uh, application itself might have some things built in that are hooking into special, you know, React features we don't all know about. Um, I, I don't actually know. I, I've tried to, you know, poke through it a bit and I've seen them use some things that are underlined with unstable and whatnot. I haven't poked through Jotai maybe quite as much. Um, so that's the only reason I'm, I'm wondering that and saying that. But honestly, I've been able to get everything that I like out of Recoil. I've been able to get out of Jotai and it's a lot simpler. Um, I get, you know, a few less lines of code, which isn't enough to, you know, write home about necessarily. But um, if I remember the last time I looked at bundle phobia, yep, recoil is 11.2 kilobytes. And then Jotai is 2.7. It, it's definitely smaller. Again, though, if you're, if you're using one of these, I imagine you're working on an application that's probably complex and, and big enough that that number of kilobytes shouldn't make a huge, huge difference. But if it does, you know, Jotai definitely pulls ahead there. Um, I just think, yeah, the API is so much simpler uh, overall. But, you know, there's some cool things in Recoil and its stock specifically. This is not all fleshed out, but there's some cool things in here. These wait for all, wait for any, wait for none. Maybe check those out and see what they're doing because um, there's definitely some neat things in here. So definitely, you know, look into it more yourself. But that's really the comparison. Uh, the comparison is mostly to say there's not a whole lot that's different on, about them as far as like a syntax and as far as what they're actually doing. So if you like, you know, more of an atom based state management solution, then I think both these applications are really good. Um, and so that's, that's really kind of all I wanted to say about it. And I hope you had fun watching me build this thing. If you want to see the actual documentation itself, you can go to github.com. I'll have this linked in the description, of course, and you can go check it out for yourself.